I'm Emily with The Medicare Coach, and in this video, I'm gonna cover how to decide if you should stay on your employer plan or should you join Medicare when you turn 65. Most people assume that you must join Medicare at 65, but that's not the case if you meet certain rules. Now, I first learned about Medicare when I was helping my dad figure out his Medicare decision, and I was shocked at how confusing Medicare is. So since then, I've joined the Medicare Coach to make Medicare straightforward and simple to help you and thousands of others easily make your right Medicare decision. Now, the Medicare Coach does not receive any commissions from insurance companies, which means that we are truly independent and unbiased. So you will hear me talk about very different things in this video to help you make your right Medicare decision when you're approaching that decision. Now, because of Medicare insurability rules, you may not be able to switch plans in the future. So make sure that you're making the right decision when you first join Medicare to avoid regret. Also, please stay tuned through the end of this workshop where I will share a free resource to help you easily make your Medicare decision too. Okay, let's talk about whether you should remain on your employer plan or should you join Medicare when you turn 65. Now, the first step to making the right decision is knowing when to join Medicare. And unfortunately, too many people get this wrong, which ends up costing them a lot of money and creating a lot of unnecessary headaches. So here's what you need to know. The rule says, by the time you turn 65, you either need to be on Medicare or covered under an acceptable health insurance plan. And if you aren't, you will face penalties. So for those of you who don't have another form of health insurance past 65, this is straightforward for you. You need to join Medicare at 65. However, it gets complex for those of you who do have employer health insurance after 65. So let's go through the rule to determine if you need to join Medicare at 65. The rule says you don't need to join Medicare at 65 as long as you meet all three of these requirements. The first one is, do you have health insurance through a current employer, a past employer, a spouse's employer? And if so, does that employer plan require you to join certain parts of Medicare when you turn 65? Many federal, state, veteran, teacher retiree plans will do that, okay? So double check the rules. Rules can change every year, so again, make sure you know exactly how it works. Now the second requirement is, does the employer providing you the health insurance have 20 employees or more, or if you are disabled, do they have 100? 100 or more. And if it is not this requirement, you must join Medicare at 65 to avoid penalties. And the final one is around the employer prescription plan. Is the prescription plan provided by your employer deemed creditable? Creditable means the plan on average covers prescriptions as well as or better than Medicare. Your company benefit person can confirm this for you. Now, if you meet all of these rules, you are likely not required to join Medicare at 65, but it may still make sense to join anyway to save you money or to access different doctors or even cheaper medications. Just a few weeks ago, I was helping out Jane. Jane plans to work until she's 68, but was paying more than average for her employer health insurance. So she was trying to decide, is she better off staying on her employer plan or joining Medicare? Now, based on our research, we found that she could save $13,000 in just the first year by leaving her employer plan and joining Medicare instead. So depending on your situation, you need to decide which is best for you. And to know which is best for you, your employer plan or Medicare, you need to compare the two side by side. Compare the premiums, the deductibles, the copays, the max out of pockets. Look to see how your prescription drugs are covered. Also, if you have family members on your employer plan, understand what the cost will be if they lose the employer health insurance and have to go somewhere else. Also, if you're a business owner, there are things that you can do to save both yourself and your business money when going through this process. Now, my usual recommendation is that if you're paying more than $250 per month per person in premiums on your employer plan, and your employer plan max out of pocket is $2,000 or more, Look to see if Medicare is cheaper. This is usually the tipping point, okay? Like I said, Medicare is complicated and too many people make the wrong Medicare decision, which is jeopardizing your healthcare and your savings. This is why people turn to the Medicare coach. So if you want help with Medicare and the steps to take to make the right Medicare decision, 
click the link below to sign up for my free online Medicare workshop. In this workshop, I will cover the five steps to Medicare that my dad and I took to get to his right decision, okay? So it can help you to easily get to your decision without wasting time and all the research or the paperwork. It's completely free to join, but there are a limited number of spots, so be sure to click the link below to reserve your spot before they're gone. Again, I'm Emily with The Medicare Coach, and I look forward to speaking with you on the free Medicare workshop. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, comment below, and subscribe for more videos just like this.